I have given the homework like what are the different sources of the wool along with the different types of sheep breeds in India. Sir, uh, you are quality of the wool of the like different types of sheep. Yeah, like what? Like uh, what? Yeah. Only what? <laughs> yes, sir. I have it. So can I tell the homework? Sir, can I? Wait, everyone. First, Chaitanya, did you finish the homework or not? Chaitanya. Go ahead. Sir, I can't do the homework. Why? I didn't check the messages, sir. And also that time at the last class, I had a power cut. Of the period. What about Shiva? Sir, I did, sir. Yeah, just tell me what is your what you have done. Sir, first, first I'm saying, sir, which one it is which? Uh, sorry, sir. Sir, uh, sir, uh, merino sheep is richest in Australia, sir. Okay. Sir, and the breeds means, sir, breeds, uh, Bakarwal is rich in uh, Jammu Kashmir, sir. Sir, and Rampur Baswal is uh, Uttar Pradesh and Himachal Pradesh, sir. Sir, and Lohi is uh, Rajasthan and Punjab. Sir, uh, sir, and Na Nali is uh, Rajasthan, it is rich in Na Ra Rajasthan. Haryana, Punjab. Okay, good. Next. Sir, Marwal is richest in Gujarat. Good. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, sir, uh, he told like whatever I wrote. Sir, I wrote one. Sir, even I, which is, sir. Even sir, like which is Patanwadi. Sir, which is Patanwadi, uh, which is uh, like mostly found yeah. in Gujarat. Okay. Even I wrote I like wrote the same. Same. I forgot to say. Sir, can I say what I wrote? Don't read the same. Yes, yeah, sir. Show my textbook. What is the answer of homework? Sir, but he did not tell the common sources, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, I can tell that. Sir, Bakarwal. What is that? Stop telling like that, sir. I asked you to say your homework, right? Yes, sir. Not everyone. When I'm asking you one people. You say only that person has to spoke. Rithik. Yes, sir. Sir. Just say your homework. What is the homework you are telling? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, like I wrote, uh, like. Uh, the sheep breeds and it uses, sir. Like, what are the sources uh, they make with the fabric? And also the states where they are found. Okay, good. Then share a few examples. The share, the source, and the breed. Okay, sir. Uh, yes, sir. So, sir, Bakarwal, uh, Bakarwal is a sheep and also it is found in the states like uh, Ladakh and the Jammu and Kashmir. And it is used for making the woolen shovels, which are famous in the Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, like uh, Nali, Nali is the sheep breed and it is found in Punjab and Haryana. And it is used to make uh, carpets, uh, the food carpets. And, uh, sir, can I tell more? Yeah. Yes, sir. Lohi is a sir. Lohi is a sheep brand, uh, sheep breed, and it is found in Punjab and uh, more like uh, desert areas. Punjab and uh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and also like it is a good quality of wool used for making uh, used for making the sweater, sir. And uh, like Marwari is also a source of wool, and it is found in the states like Gujarat and uh, Rajasthan. Yes, class. sir. Do you have any class before? No, right? No, sir. No, sir. We don't have. Last class is led up to this. The different quality of the linen fiber for the clothing. Yes, sir. On the three factors, the age and health condition of the animal. Second one, the environment in which 
animal has been living third one the part of the body of the animal from which wool is obtained so there are three different factors on which the quality of the wool will depends yes, like sir. common source of wool so what are some common source of the wool so first one is the lamb wool which comes from the body of the sheep this wool is extremely soft long and highly crimpled so due to <laughs> superior quality wool yes sir okay still voice is breaking for some people no sir it's clear it's clear so lamb wool means that is the wool getting from the sheep so it's superior in quality because of having extremely soft nature and the highly crimpled the next one is a soft wool same which is also coming from the sheep itself but the from the adult sheep okay next rough wool which comes from the aged and the diseased sheep camel and the yak so generally this is not of soft and crimpled one but somewhat rough in nature next one is the most common other states sorry other countries that is a angora merino okay so angora is comes from the angora rabbit or the angora goat if you want to see the picture of this you can see it here so you can see the angora yes sir sir and also uh, sir and also sir then also there is a breed of camel called bactrian camel sir which is found in siberia mongolia and like uh, china sir like unlike the other camels it gives like a very good quality of wool okay good there is a uh, different names are there right some wool first one is angora goat angora rabbit next one is angora goat third one merino this is a merino the fourth one is a chiru what is fifth one uh sir is it uh sir one minute sir yeah, that's yeah, alpaca yeah. sir that's alpaca yes alpaca the last one is yak sir last one is yak good yes sir it is a hill goat yes sir mountain goat or the mountain goat good The sixth one is the hill goat or the mountain goat. So the last one is the yak. Okay, this is the alpaca. This is the chiru. This is an. Sir, alpaca and llama are llama. Oh no, sir, sir, this is merino. Sir, merino. It's merino. Merino. Sir, I think that is llama, sir. Sir, it's merino. This yeah, season is merino. This season. Sir, like the below one, sir. Can you go down? Not that one, sir. Yes, this. Yes, sir. This circle one. Uh, no sir this is alpaca sir actually llamas sir, like uh, uh, their neck curves sir it's a little bit curved neck the image is not there here llama image okay, these are the two sir can i ask can i show i have oh, can you show the uh, picture again c1 i'm oh, sorry sorry the last sir, this is llama sir we do have some sir see. good Yeah, sir, sir, uh, sir, alpaca and llama are breeds of camel, right? No, it's yeah. camel. Okay, sir. Okay, so these are the different source of the wool. The first one is angora, coming from the angora rabbit or the angora goat. Next one is the merino. Yes. The merino is grown in the country, Australian country. So it is a special breed of the sheep, which has very fine texture, very soft in nature, and the highly crimped one. Okay, which gives a smooth and crease resistance texture to the cloth, and pashmina, you know, common thing in the India also, soft and silky wool, common in the case of Ladakh region. So it comes from the hilly goats living in the cold region. That is a pashmina. Next one is sardosh, which is the costliest wool among the breeds. Okay, which is mostly available in the China or in the Tibetan. Tibet. So it is also called as an Tibetan antelope. What is the name? Sir, Tibetan anti antelope. Tibetan antelope, and it will also grows only in the colder regions, like Tibet areas or the Jammu Kashmir Himalayan areas. It will be there. Sir. 
So to protect these chantus, what the government has decided? This. Sir, ban the sale purchase of the wool. Ban the sale purchase and the use of Santosh products. Like yes, meat. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, not the uh, sir. Yes, but about the other products like meat or something. Yes, sir. Or uh, sir, like why do they have to kill like uh, Santosh for the like uh, obtaining the fleece? Why those? Sir, uh, why like why do they kill Santosh for obtaining fleece? Sir, can't they do it like uh, the uh, like normal? Killing obtain the fleas, right? They're obtained for other purposes, like to eat. Okay, sir. Fleas, we are not killing them, right? Removal of the fleas means what? Just removing the outer layer of the skin itself. Okay. Yeah, sir. It's like how we get regular haircut, sir. Yeah, sir. Sir, but they tell uh, over obtaining sir, to which they kill, like they kill, uh, like this uh, Tibetan antelope, right? No, no, no. Okay, sir. The next camel wool generally used for the rugs because it's somewhat rougher in nature. So they will use in the preparation of bed sheets or the rugs. Okay, which will commonly use during the winter season and all. Okay. So next you can see the rearing of animals for wool. So whatever the first line, some animals are there. Lamas, camels, rabbits, angora, goats, sheep. All these are the common source for the wool. But what is the meaning of selective breeding? Uh, sir, like the uh, shepherds, like whoever grows, sir, they actually uh, like uh, choose uh, like uh, the parents with the uh, with the finest quality wool, uh, sir, to select the characteristics of the offspring. Sir, this is called selective breeding. Selective breeding. Is nothing but just selecting the parents to produce the desired quality of offspring. I suppose if you select the two parents which are having the very fine texture of the wool or the good superior quality of the wool. Okay. So whenever they have on the course the breeding process, they will give the good quality and sheep, right? Yes, sir. There is a selective breeding. So selecting of the parents to produce the um Good offspring is called as in selective breeding. Selective breeding is practiced between the wild and superior wool yielding cattle. So this helps to raise the new generation which are can survive the drought condition of weather and at the same time yields more and better quality fiber. So that is the meaning of selective breeding. It's not only in the goat or the sheep. It can be there in any case also between the two different animals. Next one is the wool in India. So in India also, there is a lot of wool production plants are there in the North India, around the Himalayan region and other places in the North India. So we'll see it, the Indian breeds, the quality and which state these breeds are present. So it's a column here. So first one is the Lohi. It's a good quality wool present in the Rajasthan and the Punjab state. Rampur Bushair, brown color fleece, which is present in the UP and the Himachal Pradesh. Nali, which is a carpet wool, Rajasthan, Haryana and Punjab. Makarwal for the woolen shovels. In the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Next, Marwari and the Patanwari, both are there in the Gujarat. But Marwari is still rough wool. Patanwari is somewhat Hoister means not exactly smooth or soft or not completely hard. That is a hoister. Okay. So the different famous Indian breed wool. So totally have given only six here. So apart from these also we have the other like Muzaffaranagar, Tibetan, Jaisalmeri and the Munjal. So these are also different breeds of wool present in India. That's what I ask you. Wash. Sir, I got disconnected, sir, as we join. Sir, sir, me, sir, whenever, uh, like, Ritwik, uh, all of us, like, wrote this, these only. Oh. Yeah, sir. Okay. So, these are the different types of Indian breeds and their quality along with the state in which they are present. Okay. Okay, sir.
So next one is the processing of wool. Generally, the processing of wool will take place in the five different steps. What are those five different steps? Sir, shearing. Shearing. Uh, see, in some cases, we do the wash next immediately after shearing. Sir, which is called scour, uh, scouring. Okay. So, Sir, after that, uh, like sorting, sorting, grading. Next, carding. And the last, spinning. Spinning. These are the Sir, five. In, yes, yes, sir. Sir, like in our textbook, they after spinning they gave weaving and knitting also. So that is a different after spinning. You will yes, take sir. the knitting to prepare the woolen shawls or the different types of clothes. But the first two process is what sharing. The next one is the washing or the scoring. Third one is grading. Corting or the grade. Yeah. One is carding and the last one is spinning. So these are the five steps involved in the processing of wool. So first one, what is the meaning of sharing? Sir, that, it is the removal of fleece. Yeah, sir. From the like body of the animal. The removal of the fleece from the body of a sheep or any other element is called as a fleece. Right? Once they removed the hairy and the crimpled fiber from the body of the sheep, it is very difficult for the animal to survive on the earth, right? Because it cannot protect itself from the outside environment yes sir if it is a cold climate now it cannot at all it not at all protect from outside even though it can recover somewhat in the winter sorry summer season yes sir sir so it's done like in march and april after the winter yes, sir. sir and like after between september and october after like a rainy season okay next uh sir like the next uh, point yeah. Sir, so next is covering. Yeah, sharing itself has other points, right? General uh, sir, yes, we'll do before the summer season. Because during the summer season. Sir, it can withstand the cold. Like there is a, uh, like it will be warm. So they can uh, like live uh, easily. Sir, so okay. in summer season, they'll do. General sharing will be done in the summer season to withstand the environmental condition present in the outside. Yes, sir. And if you take one normal sheep, how many kgs of wool it will can give? Sir, four, four to five kgs. Per year. Five kg of the wool per year to the industry. Like I will give that much of kgs per year. Yes, sir. You know the trimmers, right? How we can remove trim that? Yes, sir. They use clippers and scissors. Sir, to cut hair. Yeah. May we have the shearers which will help the cutting of the or removal of the fleece from the sheep or the any other animals that is called as shearing. You can see the image here. Yes, sir. So the person is standing and cutting, um, taking out the wool, right? Sorry, it's not the wool, you can say it is a fleece. Yes. Yes, sir. I go for the wash. Sir, who will do this process? Means they'll get uh, wash. Sir, what is the second one? We'll do this one. Third one, wash. Sir, uh, like, uh, sir, who will do this process? Means they'll get uh, anthrax. Disease. Most problems, sir. Yeah, sir yeah. Will get, uh, like health problems and antibacteria and fever, and also like there are many diseases, sir. In this, sir, they are they are called occupational hazards. Yeah, yeah. Or, sorry, in the end of the chapter, that will study. Sir, your voice is low. I hope now it is clear for you. Yes, sir. Now it's clear. Now it's clear. Next one is the washing. What is the meaning of? What is the meaning of scoring or the washing? Chaitanya? Sir means they'll clean the fleece, sir means wool. Sir, in dust will come and they will remove. Can I tell? Yeah, Mahavi. Sir, uh, uh, sir, the wool is washed with like bases and alkalis. Uh, sir, to remove the like dirt and grease on the wool, sir, uh, sir, then it will become clean, sir. So then they will continue the process. Okay. 
if the sheep or the fleece will contain the any type of bacteria or any impurities because sheep will move here and there in the hilly region they have the so many dirt particles or other type of things will be there so to remove all these dirt particles or uh, all these um, uh, what you say impurities in the body so they will wash the skin of the fleece first so once they wash the fleece then only they going to go for the sorting out of the material okay so this process is called as scoring what is the name scoring 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 so what is the next one sorting sir sorting sir uh, they sort it or uh, depending on the length or quality uh, sir like uh, quality like uh, sir like that Le length and quality of the whole okay just wait a minute So on what basis will sort the wool? Sir, ah, uh, length, sir, ah, uh, the texture of the wool and the color of the wool. Generally, we'll do the sorting process to separate out the good quality wool and the bad quality wool, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or if you have any impurities also in the final stage, you can separate out the wool with the help of the man power. Yes, sir. Okay. The next one is the carding. What is the role of carding? Sir, uh, wait one minute. So what is the meaning of carding? Uh, sir, like in carding, the like uh, they have many curls, right? The wool. Sir, to so straighten this, uh, sir, they uh, use carding. Uh, sir, like it has some rollers. Sir, and the rollers have some wire teeth. Uh, sir, so like these teeth make it like a and straight or like they make uh, like it makes the wool straight. Sir, which is called web. Suppose. If we remove all the impurities present in the wool, okay. Now we are preparing the wool into thin sheets. Where yes, the wool itself can have some impurities inside the wool. When we prepare the thin sheets, the help of cotton itself, all these thin sheets will form the big garment that is called as an. What is the name? Ah, uh, sir, web. Good. So in the case of cotton. Generally, the fiber will be in the individual pattern. That means the fiber will not combine at all. But once you start carding process, whatever there is there now, all the fiber with combine it become the thin sheets. That is called as cardings. Conversion of thick fiber into thin sheets is called as carding. Clear? Yes, sir. And the last one is the spinning. What is the meaning of spinning? Uh, so, like they actually twist it, like oil it, uh, and like uh, they twist it to make yarn. Sir, so after making yarn, they knit and uh, weave it to make clothes. Any other answer? Sir. Hello, sir. Sir, can I say what? Sir, we can't hear you. Thank you. Sir, you're in mute. Sir, we can't hear you, sir. Can you hear me? Oh, yes, sir. Now we can hear. Hello. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Now, can you hear me, right? Yes, yes sir. Meaning, last one is the last process. 
so any doubt to cardi respect to make yan sir if you can't hear my voice immediately you can respond just don't wait i'm hearing for you okay sir okay hello yes sir yes sir yes sir we can hear you yeah so if you can't hear for 1 minute now just respond to me i'll again i'll try or you can keep the message okay so these are the four different process we discussed till now and the of spinning also i said but i don't know whether you heard or not what is the meaning of spinning sir spinning they are twisted to make yarn sir so after the carding what is the carding converting the wool into the thin sheets sir, thin sheets yes sir thin sheets converting the wool into the thin sheets is called carding so this is done with the help of the machine so this type of rollers will be there when you are placing this thin wool into the this type of rollers this rollers will have the teeth okay so these teeth will untangle the wool and make into the thin sheets okay that i will say in the video it will be clear for you so these are the two rollers on this we have the teeth are there okay which will untangle the wool and make into the thin sheets okay next one is the spinning process in the case of spinning what is going to happen converting the fiber into the yarn that is only spinning right yes sir no yes sir converting the fiber yes. into yarn is called as in spinning spinning so narrower strands are passed through the spinning machine where the strands are twisted and the made into yarns okay so again the after the yarns are prepared you can make into the either weaving or the knitting to prepare the fabric clear any doubts yes sir no, sir then what is this interlacing process sir it's weaving it's a weaving interlacing of the two set of yarns is called as in weaving Yeah, so like how we create the like the door mat and all. Door mat is a different thing. It's not exactly weaving. Sir, uh, actually, like they keep a thread. Sir, then they uh, again keep a thread like uh, crossing it. Sir, there is no uh, front and back, sir. Hmm. It's not the front and back. Means they do, sir. I saw in video. We can see that in the video. That is a manual. We have the hand loom industry. We have seen, but not the power loom, right? Yes, sir. So they will have the two different set of yarns. They will move each other at the right angle to each other continuously. So just wait a minute. I will try to open, show one video on this processing of wool. Yes, sir. Sir, like in weaving, we use short fibers. Ah, uh, sir, to make like woolen clothes, sir. But in knitting, we use long fibers to make ah uh, like sweaters. Okay. Sir, we can't see the video. Okay, okay. Just wait a minute. Can't hear you. Hello. No, sir. Sir, like you were not talking for one minute, right? So he told uh, we can't hear. What is this process name? Sir, sharing. 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 Yes, sharing. How the sheep is also looking. How the sharing process is going on. Yes, sir. Sir, like, ah, uh, like I was like shocked, sir. Why is it coming there? The body, right? Whichever the wool present below the stomach part, it is very soft in nature because it does not expose directly to the sunlight. Okay. Yes, sir. Or whichever the part is there on the top of the body, it is somewhat. Rough in nature. Rough, sir. Whatever the environmental conditions are there, due to that, it is rough in nature. It may expose it to the sunlight or the rain or the cold region and everything, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Just wait a minute. It's completely a sharing video itself. Like ah, uh, like the black one here. Okay, 
clear now? Yes, sir. Just wait one more minute. We'll see some other things. So after that, what they will do? They will collect all these fleas and they will keep it in the industry for the further processing. Sir, like can process what's a wool and hand cream have in common well fleece has an oily protective coating which contains a substance called wool grease. When factories make yarn, they first clean the wool with detergents. The grease is processed into lanolin, a common ingredient in hand creams. Historians believe that people began raising sheep for food and clothing about 10,000 years ago. And around 4,000 BC, they started spinning the wool into yarn for weaving fabric. The Romans brought wool production to England in about 50 AD. Woolen fabrics would become the country's chief export for centuries. In 1797, today, wool fabric is durable, wrinkle-proof, and holds its shape well. It absorbs moisture and insulates against heat and cold. Sheep shears use power shears, removing the fleece in one piece. They discard any stained or inferior wool and then sort the, the wool before processing. The wool arrives at the factory in compressed bales. Workers untie them and feed the wool into the opening equipment whose metal tooth rollers comb out and separate the fibers. From there, the fibers go into the blending room, where air currents mix different grades of wool to get the desired texture. If they'll be weaving a wool blend, they mix the wool fibers with other materials, such as polyester fibers. A thorough blending takes about an hour. An air pipe transports the blended fibers to the next station. On the way, sprayers lubricate them with a mineral oil mixture to make processing easier. The fibers arrive at the carding machine, where they pass through a series of rollers with thin wire teeth. This untangles the fibers and lines them up parallel to each other. This process also removes any pieces of debris caught in the fiber. Hello? Yes, sir. What happened? Sir, like uh, the water coming from this. Yeah, sir. Hmm? Sir? I think so. Yes, sir. Yeah, now it's gone. So this is our, like, our oh, side teacher showed us. The carding process produces a smooth, flat sheet called a web. Where you can see here, which will join all this untangled wool into the thin sheet. The equipment divides this web into thin, flat strips. These strips go through rub aprons, two rollers that twirl them into thinner, rounded strips called rovings. wind onto a spool. Rovings look like yarn, but if you pull on them, they simply tear. They haven't been spun, so they have no strength. 
Each roving goes into a device called a spinning frame. It stretches the roving and spins it tightly, producing wool yarn. The yarn winds onto a bobbin. Spinning gives the yarn strength. Now they can weave it into wool fabric. A fully automated loom does it all. Watch in slow motion as it inserts one strand at a time, crosswise, through stationary lengthwise strands. It's computer programmed to thread in a specific under-over configuration, according to the type of weave. The loom inserts 400 strands per minute. After weaving, they burn off vegetal matter, such as straw fragments. Then they dye and dry the fabric. All wool fabrics undergo finishing to give them a particular appearance and feel. These spiked rollers created a plush finish. Wool fabrics can also have a sheared or flat finish. Okay, that's all about the crossing of wool. So about the silk. Sir, your voice is low. So next day about the silk, we'll discuss in completely in next class about the silk. Sir, so your voice is low. Sir, it's not. Hello. Yes, sir, we can hear you now. Okay. Sir, we can hear you. So, for the silk, we'll discuss in the next class. But we'll first study about the health hazards. Sir, it's very low, sir. What we can hear. Okay, health Sir, we can hear, sir. Continue. Okay. So, health hazards are what? The main disease associated with the uh, so like these are the like problems that the they get by doing the uh, like wool of uh, like the work. So they just use it as a school with this wool tech. Now it's low, sir. Yeah, yeah now it's very low. Now it's very low. Okay, just I can't hear you. It's only with this topic in this one afterwards we'll end with the class today. Yes, sir. What sir? Uh, sir told that after this topic, sir will end the class. Sir, your voice is very low, sir. Yeah, sir, we can't hear you only. Slow.